24 Days of Wonder. 24 stories from my 19 years with Santa Land on 34th Street. Story 17, A Hardened Journalist. In 1999, as the world prepared for the new millennium, one local news station in New York was running a nightly series called Eyewitness to the Millennium. It was a series of interviews with people who had witnessed major events of the 20th century, or who had been part of major trends of the 20th century. And for their Christmas Eve broadcast, they decided to interview Santa Claus. They came into Santa Land to film the segment one week before Christmas Eve. The reporter was a veteran of the station, and he was more accustomed to doing hard news stories than fluff pieces. He obviously expected to meet an actor in Santa makeup who would go into character when the cameras started rolling. But Santa is always Santa. The reporter was accompanied by a cameraman and sound person, and they arrived to find Santa already in his house with a member of the store's publicity team, Alina as well as two of Santa's elves. The reporter introduced himself to the elves, and they introduced themselves by their elfin names. The reporter then asked for their real names. They repeated their elfin names. He then introduced himself to Santa, and asked Santa his name. Santa replied, Santa Claus. The reporter turned to Alina, who he had worked with on several assignments over the years. She was a very stylish, sophisticated woman. And he said to her, They know the camera isn't on yet, right? Alina replied that Santa and the elves were well aware of that. Then they can drop the act right now. Santa interjected, I'm sorry, but I'm not quite sure what act you mean. The Santa Claus routine. Alina explained that we had the real Santa here in Santa Land, and then she turned to Santa and told Santa about her Christmas tree decorations this year, that they were going to be all pink. Santa said that sounded lovely. He then explained to the reporter that Alina always decorated her tree in a one or two color theme. His favorite was the year she did all red ornaments. The reporter turned to his crew with a look that said, they're all crazy. He then turned to the one elf, Eggnog, and said, And I suppose you're from the North Pole. Born and raised, she answered. The sound man smiled. He was thoroughly enjoying the conversation. The reporter mumbled something about not needing this today. The cameras came on and the interview commenced. The reporter asked Santa several questions. Santa talked about his long history with the store. And the final question was about how Christmas had changed over the years. Santa talked about how Mr. Edison's invention had replaced candles with electric Christmas tree lights. He mentioned some of the changing toy trends and requests over the years. He finished by saying that the most important elements of Christmas, the magic children experience during the holidays, the gathering of families to celebrate the day in love and goodwill towards others, had remained the same, and always would. When the interview was over, the crew stayed to film Santa visiting several families. The footage was to be added later to the segment. As Santa interacted with the children, the reporter stood to one side, listening. His face and attitude softened, and a slight smile played on his lips. When the crew had got enough footage, the flow of guests to the house was paused for a minute while they packed up. As they did so, Santa asked each of them what it was they wanted for Christmas. And he asked the reporter last. Santa, you already gave me the best Christmas gift I've gotten in a long time. You gave me back the magic of this season. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Santa. He stopped in the doorway, took one last look around the house, smiled at Santa, and with a small shake of his head, he turned to the elf and said, Merry Christmas to you, eggnog. And he stepped out of the house.